Okay, thank you very much. Yeah, yeah. So I will give actually uh, four uh, lectures and uh, just to give you some idea, uh, uh, this lecture will be about simple resurgence. Just introduction and lecture two will be about analytic wall crossing structure. Yeah, that will be. Uh, pretty technical and dry, it's no interesting formulas, I have to say, but just some structures. The, the third lectures will be resurgence on Thursday, I suppose, or on Wednesday, for closed one forms. Uh, it's, uh, it's actually the subject of a paper which we are trying to finish with Jan for several years already. Okay, yeah. And this first lecture about quantum dialogues and dialogues and etc. Okay, yeah. So uh, first I'll start to explain what is a simple resurgence, and I divide the desk in three unequal parts, okay, like this. I think it's yeah, I'm just sorry. Uh, so there will be kind of three viewpoints on the same uh, structure. So first, I will be storing Borel plane uh, and with coordinates uh, which I denote zeta. Everybody, everyone has its own notations for coordinates on these planes, and it will be about endless analytic continuation. Uh, the second story will be about exponential integral. Uh, the integrate of some function divided by h bar and some volume element. And, and the third uh, uh, language will be not wall crossing, ray crossing in uh, original variable, which I denote by h bar. Yeah, yeah so it's, it's, uh, um, resurgence is interaction of some series in h bar and functions on another variable zeta. So let's start with definition. Uh, what is a simple uh, resurgence package? Uh, simple, uh, simple. Uh, it's simple resurgence, not the package. It's, you know, it's, it's some notion of simple resurgence, and uh, uh, it consists of uh, uh, three things. You get a collection of uh, 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 some complex numbers, which here assumes it's a discrete subset. So it's kind of really important. It's discrete subset. So it matriculate means that it's uh, finite or countable. Uh, then uh, for each number, we have a formal series. So this is z in h. So you're in zeta. So you're now in zeta. It's zeta plane, but numbers I denote z. Still, yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. It's, uh, the relatives here, kind of like Greek and Latin uh, relatives, okay. Um, Then I get a form power series in h bar for each index alpha, uh, which is called a uh, Gervais type uh, one, which in plain words means that uh, they have uh, no more than factorial growth, factorial times exponential. In h bar or in zeta? 
Because you no, no, no. He, he sits in each bar. Yeah, okay. okay. I, 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 I'll use two letters. I, I don't. Just three. It's a, uh, yeah, yeah. Wait, wait a little bit. Yeah, it, it's 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 some data. Yeah, uh, and then then I get then I get collection of integers and alpha beta in z for any alpha and to b. Uh, mm. These are called stocks constants and kind of. Uh, uh, usually, uh, I'll explain what this means. They are anti symmetric, but not exactly. Yeah, so it's, uh, uh, yeah, there's no variable z to yet, yeah, so it's just an h bar. And there's uh, what is the axiom? Uh, axiom that uh, 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 let's consider functions phi alpha now of zeta. I take sum of a k greater than zero, c alpha k divided by k factorial times zeta minus z alpha to the power k. Yeah, uh, I just introduce such functions. Of course, it's uh, analytic germs. Germs at So it's a convergent in a small disk around the alpha, and the axiom that it's uh, these functions extend analytically uh, to a huge star-shaped domain. And domain is the following. It's C minus uh, the following uh, uh, union of all beta non equal to alpha. And you do the following. You take Z alpha plus R. I, I take Z beta plus R greater than zero times Z beta minus Z alpha. So what you do, you have your, or maybe I'll just draw here. You get your collection of, you get your points. And now uh, this Z alpha is one of your, it's your preferred points and you start to draw cuts. Uh, Going to infinity straight from starting straight from this point, uh, mm, uh, uh, z beta. Yeah, uh, and the claim is that it's your analytic function which is defined just in the neighborhood extends everywhere uh, along uh, this cuts. Uh, and uh, and what we want, uh, we want to. Uh, describe the jump of of my uh, function along the cut, and and the jumps will be uh, uh, controlled by these numbers in alpha beta. Uh, What here goes on? You consider one of you consider ray coming from this, uh, let's say, nearest point, and then could be some other points on this ray. In, uh, in principle, because the discrete set it can have infinitely many points, and uh, the behavior is roughly the jump of this function will be controlled by another function. Mm. Uh, I'll just say that uh, uh, the behavior of function ex extension of 
analytic extension of this function of phi alpha and zeta just to the nearest singularities uh, on, on, on each ray. Maxim, your central point is Z. Z, Z alpha. Alpha. For some, for some and other also alpha. There is no beta in this. It's kind of alpha, beta, whatever you are. No, no. You have uh, your definition. Yeah, it's... Uh, it's a synthesis, semi index set, yeah, you do not remember. Maybe you need to swap alpha and theta after r. The function? What? What, 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 what you either alpha here or swap alpha and theta. No, no, it's the convention that beta is no different than alpha. It's a synthesis, yeah. alpha prime, okay. <laughs> <laughs> you, if you really like it. I, I, I don't see. Okay. Okay. No, no, not, 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 not It's based on the data. Okay. okay, maybe I'll stick, skip to beta. Okay. 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 What? No, it, it's it's sum over beta, which are not equal to alpha. Uh, I, uh, the numbers are all distinct. Okay, what's wrong? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, uh, so, so I will say, say kind of uh, uh, first what goes near nearest singularity along some ray. Uh, 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 then the claim is it's near. So the claim that things near, near, near singularity should be equal to the following. It's some holomorphic function in uh, zeta minus z alpha 1 plus n alpha alpha 1 multiplied by log z minus z zeta minus zeta alpha 1 multiplied by uh, my function phi alpha 1 of zeta, and maybe divide by 2 pi i, sorry. Uh, so it will be 1 over 2 pi, uh, so, uh, so the function, if you go to the nearest singularity, will be no longer holomorphic, it will be some holomorphic part, plus a uh, logarithm uh, multiplied by previous, by another function. So it means that if you go around, the jump will be exactly mm, this next, next function. And something similar goes for other points on the ray. How to say it's kind of more, in a more clean way. Uh, kind of. In general, what I do, I define, uh, I define just the, the behavior near nearest singularity. So, I, I can hardly read uh, okay, maybe just the function, and when you wrote, it wasn't. Ah, it's, uh, it's, Okay, maybe I'll write, write it. Yeah. Sorry? No, okay. Yeah. yeah you, you said it's equal to some function element, uh, something belonging to germ of analytic function near z alpha 1 plus n alpha alpha 1 log zeta minus z alpha 1 divided by 2 pi i and multiply by function phi alpha 1 of zeta. Okay. Yeah, but uh, th this is a description of a jump near the nearest, uh, nearest singularity and what goes about further singularities, it's better to say in the following way. I define a local system L uh, with, uh, of abelian groups, it depends only on this collection of points and collection of these integers. And alpha beta, it's local system of uh, kind of uh, free abelian groups on C minus the set of points. And the local system is the following. 
what will be the stock of the system? At point zeta, uh, at kind of generic point, uh, the stock of this point will be. Uh, It will be canonically isomorphic to direct sum of copies of C um, over my set of mark points. And um, mm, I'll do like this. Uh, yeah, so, so now I have some reference point zeta when, when I want to see what is my stock. The stock, the base of stock will be my mark points. And in fact, it will be the straight path connecting uh, this reference point to all other points zi. And I assu assume that it's, it's, uh, th these uh, things are not aligned. They're all distinct. It will be... Uh, all points zi, not only the first one. Uh, all the first one, all, all of them, yeah. I mean, you have many points in the same line. No, 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 but I start now from generic... You have uh, your red lines go to... Yes. Okay. Yeah, it's, it's, it's connected. This will be basis of uh, red things will be basis of of the stock of my local system. And now I want to describe you what goes goes on if I have some big uh, when this red intervals are aligned, uh, then it will be not no longer the basis. Now, suppose I have uh, many points uh, with this singularity singularity plane which stray on a straight line, yeah? And I move point kind of like zeta plus and zeta... M I have just two points very close to... Uh, 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 I have uh, two points very close to this land, on above and, and below, and I want to identify fibers. Oh, stocks of my ecosystem. Uh, uh, by definition, my um, stock is kind of z to the set of these points, and what I apl apl apply here is the following. Uh, I apply the following matrix. I consider uh, infinite upper triangular matrix with one over diag uh, diagonal and numbers n uh, above the diagonal. Uh, so under this identification, this basis vector identified with this basis vector. But this basis vector will be identified with this basis vector plus uh, some multiple of the previous one, and so on. So what happens if this uh, zeta plus and zeta minus are somewhere between the alpha 1 and alpha 2? No, I, I, this, uh, then I denote this alpha 1 and alpha 2, maybe this is a different sense, like minus 1. Yeah, it'll be, it'll be similar picture on the right. Yeah, and then the left, the so ordering of points is important here or not? Uh, yeah. It's supported, yeah. I just consider kind of uh, the point on a blue line, which is close to both of them. You start to numerate them from one to three. three. And if it is between two, 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 two of these, what happens? Ah, no, it could be some points on the, on, on, uh, could be some points on the, uh, on the same line on, on the left as well. But those are just disregard. I disregard, and I, I just rotate myself by 100, 180 degrees and fly. It so will this be important th matrix only kind of knows about what happens to the right. Of you. Yes, yes, yeah. yeah for the right, I get some transformation. For the left, I get similar transformation. I just uh, rotate by 180 degrees, make inverse transformation. That's it. Yeah, yeah. So I get. Uh, so, so it means that um, that's a way to associate the local system with arbitrary collection of integers. And is there still a base point alpha in this game? Sir? Is there still a base point alpha? No. Oh, no, 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 no base point. It's what, is the, what is the indices on N, N alpha? I, I, A, I, alpha, alpha, A plus, uh, alpha, J, and I, I, less than J, something like this. 
in ways that Zin, Zin Doodle, yeah. Okay, yeah, so get this local system. And now what I want to say is that uh, I have a, um, uh, this collection of functions with this jump formals can be said to have homomorphism of shifts, which has denoted just by phi. It's a homomorphism of this local system to some kind of multivalued function. And um, mm, here I want to uh, uh, write something. I have a local system on the complement to, to the set of points, yeah? And extend it to local system on the real oriented blow ups of my of C. Uh, with centers of these points. What does it mean in... Uh, um, re, uh, what, what does it mean, this real blob? I have my plane, I, I remove some points, yeah? And, and, and kind of... I add kind of real boundary, uh, circle boundary. So use... Uh, uh, what, what, what do I do? I use kind of polar coordinates near... Yeah. near the alpha, uh, you have argument of z minus z alpha, which is in r mod 2 pi z, and we have absolute value. You can see the point outside of, uh, uh, cl close to, uh, to point z alpha, you, you can describe by argument and absolute value. And now you, allow distance to be equal to zero, but keep still argument. Uh, so topologically, you glue a real boundary. It doesn't change homotopy type. You extend this local system. And on this uh, blow up plane, you get a shift of algebras. <coughs> Maybe kind of all logarithmic. It will be shift of, of algebras. And as a shift of algebra is very uh, simple. It's, it's stock at a point which is doesn't belong to the alpha is uh, at some point maybe uh, how to denote maybe denote by z. It's a germs of analytic functions in. Uh, uh, germs of analytic functions at this point. It's usual analytic functions. And the stock at point, at point uh, z, uh, zeta equal to uh, z alpha and, and some argument uh, uh, so you, if you uh, mm, Line to the single point, but uh, distance is zero with stick this, this, this argument. Then the germ will be. Sorry? Not z equal to z alpha. It depends how the zeta or z equal. Oh, no. What's your coordinate on the. No, z is a coordinate. I don't want to. Pe uh, yeah, but you wrote z equal to z alpha. It's point, whatever. Z, z, z. It's. Po uh, at zeta, but I cannot write zeta minus zeta, and then yeah. Yeah, that's that's. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, that, that's that's my trouble. Yeah, uh, yeah. But now, if you uh, if you uh, stock at this point on the boundary of the circle, will be the following. It will be uh, germs of analytic functions minus uh, the alpha. But also, you uh, allow a kind of finite combination of logarithms. Logarithm considers a formal symbol, but if you choose this branch, you, you, you can kind of choose some branch of logarithm. And uh, 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 if you choose some branch of logarithm at this point, you identify this. 
uh, these polynomials. If you add 2 pi i, you identify polynomials with polynomials by shifting by 2 pi i. And you got uh, some shift. And, if, uh, and definitely, if you go around, it's, it's, it's obvious it will be a shift funct functions. And uh, kind of nice way to, uh, short way to say what are rules of jump. If you have homomorphism of sh shift from this local system, you get this multivalued function. So this uh, fiber is can be count, can have countable dimension for the local system. Yes, yes, yes. It's if, if you have infinitely many points. Completely. <coughs> I mean, it's a question about shift, cos shift. It's, it's a shift. So then it's... No, no, it's a, no, here it's actually a local system and... Uh, this, yeah, here it's... You nothing. have direct sum of the product. No, direct sum, yeah, nothing here. Yeah, and, uh, yeah, uh, and then if you consider, if you consider points outside of singularity, it has a basis, so, so it means that you have this functions phi, phi alpha. That's it. Okay, yeah, and uh, yeah, so that's that's a way how to uh, say things. And now, um, uh, uh, kind of Borelical resummation method uh, is how to produce actual functions from this divergent series. What you define? You choose some direction theta. Uh, you choose some direction uh, theta starting from the. Uh, maybe I go to. This. Oh, oh. What is it? Mm. Yeah, maybe I'll just remove this. You choose a ray which doesn't go, which goes to infinity, doesn't go to the singularities. And I define function of h bar, finally, as the integral of, of this ray, zeta belongs to z alpha plus exponent i theta positive ray, and I multiply, I make my function phi alpha of zeta, which is well defined, multiplied by some kind of exponential decaying term, and multiply by d zeta. I, I make Laplace transform in this direction. It will be real uh, uh, because of this. Um, uh, uh, yeah. And this thing is the following. If it is convergent, uh, and kind of behave okay, then defines analytic function in, in some small sector. In direction theta in h bar now in h bar variable because when h bar will be in direction theta will be a, a, a real a, a, a decaying integral and you can hope that it's convergent and the things will have asymptotic expansion of this guy in the sector is this series e, e alpha formal. Uh, which is completely obvious. You kind of, if you consider n storm, c alpha n divided by n factor k factorial, make a Fourier transform, get factorial will disappear and get this thing. Yeah. I'm confused. Why? Why to do this? Sorry. I'm confused. Why you need many alphas? Because when you do this, you just work with an individual alpha. You know? Yes. Yes. Yeah. No. Of course, we can do like this. You can say you don't know uh, other singularities. But uh, kind of the picture of a call is that it's, if you have one series, it's kind of automatically produce other series. You start to make analytic continuation of, of the variant factorial, and you get jumps, you get another thing, so you'll have the same behavior. So you get, uh, and the um, way kind of to control things is consider this all together, 
Of course, we want to introduce like expansion for original function. Get, we want to have actual function with this asymptotic expansion. But uh, for free, you get for many functions uh, the same prediction. Yeah. So, yeah. So that uh, that the story and there are kind of two uh, things which are underlined: the set of discrete and the integrals convergent. And in kind of in more and more in complicated situations, these things are very, very unclear. Uh, this uh, we will see examples when set of singularities will be everywhere dense, and uh, about convergence I have very little idea. Uh, so, so the story about analytical crossing structures a way to reformulate these things, uh, so to get control of all this in infinity uh, or non uh, possible non converge of integral issues. But before going on, I just want to uh, show you some simple stuff, maybe on as a part of uh, as a mm, small boards. Uh, it's it's at the moment it's pretty abstract, but uh, 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 let me show you two. Uh, let me show you one thing. It's, suppose have alpha and beta are closest singularities, closest pair of singularities. Uh, um, what do I mean? Uh, I say beta is a z, z beta is a closest singular to z alpha, and suppose it's just only one. Uh, then uh, what you have? You have a function. When you expand, you get singularity, uh, some kind of uh, by this star, uh, shape domain. You have the closed singularities as appointed. You have some logarithm, and immediately from the things you have uh, the following property. Then I get uh, uh, ah suppose. Maybe I take the focus. Suppose z beta is the closest to z alpha. It's the only one closest to z alpha. Then you start to uh, expand your function around z alpha, and immediately from contribution of this logarithms, you see immediately the following uh, property that. This uh, coefficients of the series in C alpha uh, uh, also have some asymptotic behavior when k goes to infinity. And this controls by uh, uh, coefficients in C beta, but in the following way. It's so, so the leading terms of, of the expansion is um, Maybe I write the third term, c beta 2 divided by k, k minus 1, k minus 2. It's asymptotic expansion for large k. So th this, if you make this normalization, you get the behavior by 1 over k, like coefficients of logarithm, uh, expansion of logarithm, uh, then next, uh, next term will be of one over k can uh, some could behave like something like one over k square, one over k cube, and so on. So see that uh, if you know your coefficients at one point, and then you can see the by symptotic expansion, you see these coefficients at another point. And in fact, it's really practical in, in some uh, quite often, uh, not, not quite often, there are, there are cases when you can calculate by some computer algebra some exactly. Something like hundreds or thousands, maybe up to thousand coefficients. Uh, it's some rational numbers. You can calculate them exactly. And then from this asymptotic, you can immediately extract first few coefficients for another, another series. Yeah, conversely, if zeta alpha is the closest to z beta, then we have we just exchange rho of alpha and beta, yeah. Mm -hmm. 
I will not write the rest. And uh, yeah, so uh, conversely, from uh, from coefficients of one series, you can construct uh, by asymptotic uh, coefficients of another series. And if both, then uh, uh, what I claim is the following will happen. So if you consider the limit from k equal to infinity, and you do uh, kind of try to see leading coefficients here. If uh, z, uh, z, z beta is closest to the alpha, and the alpha is close to z beta. You calculate uh, some limit just for one series. And it's it's kind of invariant under scaling of the series. So you, uh, it's, uh, if you multiply by constant, it will be the same. Calculate by the same limit for another series. And the claim it it is one over five per square times. Square of integer number. Yeah, yeah. So it's pretty uh, uh, elementary colors because it's actually will be n alpha b minus n beta, beta alpha, and I said that n beta alpha uh, for closed singularities it's, it's inverse to n alpha b, so get automatically the square. Yeah. So the Stokes constants, uh, this integer number, you can up to sign you can extract uh, just the product of two. Uh, individual um, numbers associated to one singularity is another number associated to another singularity. Yeah, that's, uh, again, one can see it's in, in practice. Yeah, now uh, I think I finished with this uh, story about uh, This endless analytic continuation and whole, whole business. Now I'll just go to uh, kind of a, a real example for su of such stories, exponential integral. Suppose I have access uh, smooth algebraic variety or complex numbers of certain dimension. Uh, and say uh, I get a function this polynomial function and a volume element uh, algebraic volume element now interesting in such integrals mm. And now uh, I integrate over certain cycles. Now uh, let's make some assumptions. So there'll be a few uh, assumptions that first uh, uh, critical, all critical points uh, let's call it let's P alpha of F are isolated. And holomorphic Morse. So Morse in holomorphic sense, which means that uh, if you consider determinant of matrix of second derivative, it will be non-zero. Uh, uh, second th thing will be all critical values. are distinct. Uh, it's actually, all things are really simplified assumption. One can drop all of them. Uh, and, and third is F has no, has no critical value at infinity, 
which means the following. There exists a partial compactification uh, such that complement is normal crossing divisor. F extends to F extends to some F tilde on this partial compactification and F tilde is proper and F tilde restricted to any uh, boundary stratum or has no critical points. Okay, so so I have this uh, mm, mm, simple assumption, and now if you get for any generic direction theta and for any critical point. Uh, there is a kind of well-defined uh, up to uh, homotopy uh, left symbol uh, it depends on this point yeah I'll find maybe direction theta uh, uh, left symbol which is diffeomorphic to Rn and embedded to my variety x and such a projection uh, f restricted to left symbol gives a vibration to the ray uh, mm, it's called the alpha plus exponent phi theta Uh, you can see the straight ray. Uh, this will be for, uh, locally trivial vibration, I think, and uh, near, near critical point I get a vanishing cycle, and uh, it will be sphere, and then extent I get R, R, uh, Rn, so it will be family of n minus one dimensional spheres. Uh, such things and then one can define integral yeah so, yeah the whole things which you have on the on the left will be appear here we get e alpha theta h bar will be defined as the following it will be a exponent the alpha h bar divided by square root of 2 p, p h bar to power n Yeah, you should choose some orientation of the left symbol. It's the uh, only choice you should do. Kind of choose orientation. And maybe choose what the square root of h bar. So uh, then we integrate the things it will be convergent integral. Mm. So you get uh, for these things, we have this uh, uh, analytic functions on the nose, and uh, uh, actually, uh, the claim that it's, uh, um, this things has asymptotic expansion uh, will be independent. On direction theta, it, it just can calculate purely algebraically, and this asymptotic expansion uh, will be some series, formal power series. Mm, actually, when you calculate it, uh, you get uh, one over square root of determinant at this point, uh, p alpha, and then you do uh, some calculation 
uh, using Feynman rules. So. Uh, so what you see have uh, kind of um, the uh, overall factor. Now, oh, so get again series starting in C, C of H bar. Uh, but what I want to say that kind of in uh, simple examples, for example, if it's things are defined over rational numbers, this series has a rational coefficients, but you can get square root of some rational number in the front. Yeah, so the series will be have a structure of square root of something times. Uh, expression in is in a simpler field mm. and mm. oops uh, oops somebody is somebody is talking oh. so, okay 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 some news okay <laughs> <laughs> okay okay maybe I'll just uh, 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 just want to say what I, he, uh, meaning of ind uh, indices and so, so Feynman rules you expand near critical point. Uh, yeah, you get, then, uh, you get quadratic part plus high part and yeah, okay. Uh, and why is the integral convergent in this case? Ah, the, in algebraic geometry it's convergent. One can estimate the, uh, the growth and if you, uh, the integral, be, uh, yeah, it's, it's some, uh, some theorem, okay. okay. Okay, it's convergent, okay. Okay, but uh, but for formal rules you don't do have to do anything. Yeah, in, in the celebrate geometric situation it's okay. What is an alpha betas? Uh, uh, I'll describe you the formula this formal equation. It's uh, kind of in general if it's that we shall not close the pair of singularities, but the uh, 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 it's uh, what you do. You um, uh, make this left shift symbols, which is defined up to homotopy, but make a array which goes a little bit uh, above the straight line and from bit to bit above the straight line, and then you have intersection number. It's completely well defined. It's if you make little homotopy, it's, uh, because intersection here is proper, so it's well defined number and. Mm, that's the definition of an alpha beta. And now we want to see what, for example, this local system, yeah? Uh, if n is even number, uh, then the local system is uh, h, uh, the fiber of local system at some point zeta is a, a middle, middle homology of pair. You consider f and f minus zeta of zeta with integer coefficients. Um, this I think, and and what is this function, multi-valued function phi, or homomorphism, uh, this uh, or homomorphism of shift say, if if phi maps uh, some class, uh, I don't know how to uh, uh, some uh, um, some class delta in. Uh, uh, this is homology of pair. Uh, mm, goes to the following things. It's one over two pi to power m to power m, where m is half of n. Yeah. Uh, multiplied by m minus first derivative with respect to zeta of the uh, uh, volume of a fiber. You can see the boundary. Oh, so it's really bad, bad notation. Uh, class maybe really out of letters. Uh, uh, the symbol. You can see the boundary of the symbol, which belongs to n minus first homology fiber. And uh, here you, you integrate with natural volume element. On the fiber, you divide volume by df, you get volume form on the fiber, you integrate 
oh, oh, six, six, six things. Things of the fiber. Um, mm, so that's a very, uh, it, it's kind of easy exercise. Uh, and uh, here actually some people have some little bit misconceptions. They thought it's, this thing should be volumes. It's not volumes, it's deri very de high derivative of the volume. And for example, if you have family of Kalabi Yao, it's not period of Kalabi, uh, of, uh, not a volume form Kalabi Yao, but consider some class in the middle of hot filtration in the middle cohomology. So it's not, uh, not really volume element, it's some more tricky class. Sorry, what do you mean by the boundary of the left set temple here? No, no, if you consider a homology class with a boundary, a relative homology class, yeah. uh, it's like symbol, uh, it's something which ends on a, on a fiber, yeah. then consider cycle on a fiber, which you see. Oh, that's yeah. yeah, that's it, yeah. Uh, now, now I just go to a couple of simple examples where the things really appear. You get uh, yeah, consider first example is AD function. You integrate exponent minus one over eight bar x cube three minus x dx. Yeah, so this. You can read from this what is your variety. Variety is a1, this coordinate x, function is x cubed over x, 3 minus x, and volume element is dx, yeah? And you have critical points. You have those two critical points. Then you have two critical values. Point where derivative is zero, then you have points where, uh, what is things, and then you get this formal expansions. At one point, will be one over square root, so six k minus one double factorial, twenty k factorial, factorial seventy two to power k, is about to power k, and a two formal. is uh, now one over square root of minus two. It will be another algebraic number. Have the second derivative will be minus two and get in the same way k greater than zero. Okay, I'll just okay. Let's try it. Yeah. I have this example, and here are the stocks indices uh, plus and minus one, and you can calculate using this formalism, and the, the, the calculate the things you get exactly whatever, by square, and. Um, a similar example is Bessel function. Yeah, first was 80. Sorry, and what is ZZK in the denominators? Sorry? Oh, 2K. It's 2K factor, yeah, some 72. So, uh, it's too good. Sorry? Probably 3. 3. 3. 72. 72. 72. Oh, yeah. so, 72, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I took it from Wikipedia, I don't know. <laughs> okay, yeah. You take Basel function. It's, uh, uh, you can write what is a variety, what is for function. Uh, so the critical, uh, uh, again, x1 is plus and minus one. Critical values will be plus two and minus two. And the integral as well, or? Uh, integral? Yeah, I wrote no, it. No, 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 the sign of the integral. I mean, you can skip it, of course. <laughs> ah, integral, yeah, actually, yeah. 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 And, and from what? Uh, ah, no, no, it's the integral of the left should over. Yeah, yeah, okay. Or something, yeah. Oh, no, at least when I do form power series expansion, I don't even have to write what is the cycle of integration. 
Yeah. And, uh, yeah, that's okay. Uh, and this formal things are kind of really similar. It's again one over square root of two, uh, and get and get something pretty similar. And a two. And, and now uh, my uh, stock indices are plus two and minus two. Yeah. 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 In fact, uh, uh, in the whole the story, if you have only one single point, there's no no resources, no NFB, no local systems. It's nothing goes on here. So in the minimal interesting cases are two points, and because things are two expenses, in the two simplest cases, with such things as plus one and minus one, that's explain why kind of area function basically functions so ubiquitous in mathematical physics. Yeah. So it's, it's kind of simplest possible mm, example which can exist. Yeah, so even in this case one can check the whole mm, things completely. Yeah, so I have uh, now kind of like a third example which is Stirling formula but actually it naturally fits to the next lecture. Maybe I'll don't start right now and, and start next lecture with Stirling formula example. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, sorry. No, no, no. Maybe not. Thank you. <laughs> okay. I, 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 I completely didn't feel the sort, the sort of things, and it's, it's really very, it's very, very short. Yeah. Okay. Maybe just before going to examples. Hey. Sorry. So what is? So, so what is this short, short columns which I didn't? Feel at all, yeah, in the moment. Yeah, suppose given in the moment finite collection collection of numbers, yeah? Because in this example I have only finitely many singularities, I never have infinitely many yet, yeah? Suppose I have finite collection of uh, numbers and collection of integers, yeah? Uh, what I should, uh, how I can formulate the whole thing, uh, what is going on here? Uh, I, I can see I draw a collection of stocks race in H bar plane, namely argument of H bar will be argument of difference of two numbers in bad directions. So in the complement I get finitely many sectors. And what I do next I, I uh, I consider trivial, maybe even trivialized bundle on union of sectors uh, with fiber equal to C to, to the set of my critical, uh, with the basis given my indices. And now I glue a long, a long race. If I cross the array, uh, I, I should apply certain operator, and operator will be some matrix which is almost the same as here uh, uh, on the left hand side, but the matrix will be uh, another one, it will be. If I cross the array, uh, then it means that. Uh, uh, I have on, on some parallel lines uh, my singular points. Maybe on several parallel lines I have uh, points going like this. And here what I put, I put n beta alpha multiplied by exponent minus z beta minus z alpha over h bar if argument z beta minus z alpha is uh, kind of st uh, Stokes ray argument. Uh, 
and zero otherwise. So I consider uh, essentially the same matrix, but it is scaled by uh, exponential small term. And in this way, uh, what happens? Uh, I, I g get a holomorphic vector bundle on, on the whole h bar plane, which is trivialized on sectors and trivialized on a formal neighborhood of zero. Because these gluings have a tri trivial asymptotic uh, expansion. Nice on CH bar. Yeah, I don't know how to draw it. It's uh, maybe I'll kind of like one. It's actually trails on sectors, it's actually trails a little bit on the neighborhood. So one can imagine one got kind of like uh, slightly extended sectors, so it's like petals, it takes the joint union and identified in the kind of very, very tiny disk along zero. So I get some case like flower. Uh, so this bundle will be trivialized. On, on this <laughs> gadget. Uh, I'm uh, not clear about this second condition. Trivial on CO2. Trivialized. Ah, trivialized. Yeah, it's not, not trivial, it's trivialized. Because yeah, it's trivialized. And then it's something really mm, uh, mm, uh, funny goes on. You can choose isomorphism. You choose some kind of global trivialization of a bundle on C, or maybe maybe on, on germ of H bar. You can see the isomorphism of this bundle. Bundle maybe did not by something like V. Identify with uh, C to this set of the alpha on H plane. I get isomorphism, and then from this. Mm, you get, by the, this previous trivialization, you get uh, some kind of funny things uh, because you have one trivialization and have these two other trivializations. And then you get, from this you get isomorphism from sectors which belong to JL, whatever set of the alpha, the O of sector. Maybe consider functions which like C infinity on the boundary of the sector, uh, Halvor functions. And also you get if isoformal get element of jail, again, the same set of indices, of a formal power series in H bar. This global transition gives the following. And, and then uh, our section, whatever uh, this uh, uh, phi, yeah, what called section phi, gives a holomorphic section of this bundle. Uh, It's a, a global holomorphic section, and um, maybe I'll just finish with this one formula. Mm. Uh, so this section is something in the form of power series. Mm. If you apply uh, so, so if you only stay in the third column, you think of phi as extra data? Or? Yeah, it's, phi it will be just holomorphic sections, yeah. From the whole story, it will be, uh, uh, I get this uh, gluing depending on points and integers, and then I get this abstract holomorphic section of this guy, which, uh, so if I apply whatever I can, cannot use of this. I think you are asking whether phi should be in the third column considered as an additional piece of data. It could be considered, yeah, five, five, it's an additional piece of data, yeah, it's just arbitrary section. It's, it's all the same story because I would want to say that if you apply this... Uh, 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 you also have five in the left column. But they agree. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. <laughs> it's, uh, yeah uh, what I want to say is that if you have holomorphic section, uh, if you mm, go to the sterilization form power series, you get just collection of, uh, you get essentially correction of this e alpha formals. Mm. 
So what is going on? Mm. You have divergent series. Actually, I, I, I was. So you take five from the second column and you apply either formal. Second column. Uh, I mean, because you have three of them. Ah, second column. I forget. Forget. You forget. So. Yeah. I can, if you consider first column and third one, yeah. Uh, what I claim that. I, I'm looking now. I'm looking at the third column. I do not see. Uh, uh, I have a formal. Ah, they, they, they're not here. They're not here. If they're not here, uh, how you can claim? Ah, no, no. Su suppose I get a holomorphic section of my bundle. Okay, good. Yeah. yeah. Then in this trivialization of H bar. Ah, it's a definition of I alpha formal. Yeah. yeah. Alpha formal will be. Uh, uh, alpha formal will be section phi in, in trivialization of a over form power series. And um, so what is the role of this global trivialization then? It seems like it, it's, 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 it's not, not uh, 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 the idea of how one can make resumation without any integrals. Uh, the idea is the following. You get, have this, uh, you take any holomorphic section. Ah, suppose you get this form power series. The claim is everything, uh, the, uh, everything will be compatible is the following. You, uh, apply some global trivialization, you apply this element in jail to the form power series, to this vector column of the form power series, and suddenly you get vector which is, will be of convergence series. So we get vector of convergence series, it's defined everywhere, then apply inverse to i of sector, you get, you get another uh, function in the uh, in these sectors. Uh, so you can go from form power series uh, by this uh, global trivialization, you go to uh, analytic things and you know, so you go to against things defined on sectors. You define things defined on the sectors without doing any integral whatsoever. And that's kind of will be for me as a main mechanism how to uh, understand a new way resurgence. Uh, that uh, we have this, uh, this gluing data gives bundles with some funny trivialization of form power series, but bundles are actually holomorphic. And uh, this gives a, 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 technically gives you a completely different way to do calculation without any integrals whatsoever. You solve somehow Riemann Hilbert problem, and um, then you produce, uh, it gives you a way to um, uh, produce uh, uh, holomorphic functions in the sectors. Uh, yeah, without doing any integrals at all. And in case of actual exponential integrals, one can check you get, you get uh, actual integrals in, in, in some trivial way. OK, so now, now probably you can thank me again. Question. Yeah. So can you relate column three and column one in your one of your examples? Because you gave examples, so you produce numbers which are C yeah. uh, alphas, but you didn't say. Ah, for, yeah, the question: What is this bundle? Yeah. Mm -hmm. No, I just uh, analytically forget about bundles. Yeah. So you no, column three is about bundles. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. On the I don't know what bundles. Yeah. Yeah. So you have the integral, you have, you get numbers at every uh, critical point, you get some numbers, yeah. expansions, and then you made some point, but you didn't, I'm just saying you didn't explain uh, in this example. Ah, no, what, what is going on? You can see the actual, in, uh, you see that the definition of this function, I alpha, I, I can see the integral uh, divided, a, uh, yeah. Uh, and, and the picture is the following. What goes, goes on in this example? You have uh, you have two singularities, yeah? You consider uh, uh, one pair of timbles or another pair of left shot timbles. And uh, uh, when I rotate the direction, this will be analytic function. So this is like, like integral one, integral two. Integral one, integral two go to integral two, but integral one goes to integral one plus integral two, something like this. You get this jump. Uh, but now you divide by integrals by exponent of h bar, so you get automatically uh, this matrix of transformation will be something like one, one, exponent minus whatever, the beta minus the alpha divided 
Ja. Ja, so zieht. Ja, ja, so was the first form in the talk. Ja, yeah, and the first, uh, and the first, sorry? Joseph. It's first column, yeah, okay. Uh, uh, I don't understand what end. What's the question? What's the question? This example demonstrates what? Everything is trivial. I, I, I don't know what is demonstrated. No, you have, you have this. You, you, you have formal integral, you see, like formal, uh, you have actual integral. No, you start with Borrelian summation, so far. Ah. I just, it, it's written as black. Ah, yeah, no, this Borrelian summation gives the same, this actual integral, so left stream. Sorry? You didn't say this. I, no, I said it's all things correspond to another. I just denote them by the same way. Yeah, no, I just illustrate in, this, in, in the geometric examples what all, all, uh, all enters are about. And so, what is the what is the sort of trivialization in the third column that turns these? Uh, ah, there's no good trivialization. Yeah, no trivialization is kind of technical. It's uh, you multiply this both things on the left on the right by uh, germ of uh, invertible matrix valued function and in h bar. Can you say what it is in this case? Uh, uh, yeah, there is some trivialization because this this bundle can be identified with. Uh, Hypercomology, uh, you consider x, this, this forms this differential h bar d plus df. Uh, you consider this uh, hypercomology depending on h bar. Uh, uh, in this case, it's actually algebraic bundle of h bar, and it's uh, you trivialize this bundle. And there's, in simple examples, there are some obvious choices how to trivialize. You, you choose. Um, uh, like forms, uh, you know, something like forms like dx, x, x times, uh, you choose two forms, dx and x times dx, something like this. And uh, um, this will be rep representative from this hypercomology. And uh, this is how we can trivialize it some, somehow. And, um, Okay, good. This sounds a little implicit. Sorry? I would have thought you can write it down, maybe, or... Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry? Ah, no, how to realize it's, 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 yeah, it's a bit kind of artificial choice of trivialization. I don't want to write it down. That's, that's. But in these two examples... In these two examples, one choose, for example, one choose uh, things like dx and x dx, consider uh, homology classes of these forms. Uh, the, the former basis, I think, for any h bar, and that will be trivialization extent to h bar equal to zero for this bundle. Yeah. More questions? Yeah. Uh -huh. Actually, sorry, isn't this blow up relevant to the construction of this Lipschitz symbol? I mean, so you didn't explain left -right. what Lipschitz symbol is. Uh, Lipschitz symbol? No, no. Uh, uh, Why didn't you explain? I said that you have a map. Uh, uh, in this case, I think it will be one dimensional, will be copy of R, R1. Uh, 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 no, uh, sorry, no, maybe in general. Uh, uh, in gen copy of R, that's the uh, sphere is zero dimensional, right? It's zero, it's zero, zero dimensional, yeah, if it's high dimensional, yeah. I know, what, what was it? You the, the, the blow up for the night bomber construct. This is? This? Yeah. What is real blow up? Yeah, using this, right. somehow relevant to the construction of this leaf system. No, no, it's it's, it's no, it's just technical things to say about single uh, uh, multivalued function. It's it's it was not uh, at all related to this left symbol. Uh, no, because here are really removed in a sense uh, uh, critical values uh, is blow up. Okay, yeah.